on our background today. Um, I've done two so far, and the first one wasn't super excited about was this one. Um, I just didn't like all of the colors. I felt like it was too busy. So we did a second one, which is this one, and I just used the warm colors of so yellow, orange, and red. And I think this looks a lot better to me with the table as being brown. So we've got a table, we're gonna set our pot on it, and uh, I think that's what we're gonna stick with for our demo today. Now, if you're just really in love with cool colors, so the blue and the purple, I'm okay if you choose blue and purple in your background, that's all right, but I really like the way the warm colors look. So I'm gonna stick with that. So let's go ahead and get our materials out for today. We're gonna need our watercolor paints, brush, cup of water, um, towels. Please remember, um, when you're working with watercolor paints, you don't need to fill the water cup all the way. Just put a little bit of water in the bottom of the cup. That way, if you accidentally spill it, you're gonna have less to clean up. And uh, it's also, you don't, you can also change the water out as often as you need to if it gets too dirty. It's not a big deal. Um, your laptops, just one final reminder. Since you're working with water, you probably need to elevate the laptop on a bowl or something, just so it's not on the table in case you do have a spill and get water everywhere. So just kind of a good precaution to elevate your um, Chromebook. All right, so we're gonna be working on this one today. Um, you're gonna need the paper in your um, art bag it looks a little bit different. It's in the back of the bag, well it was in mine. It's a little bit beige, like so if you compare it to the drawing paper, the drawing paper is white white. This paper is a little bit beiger, which isn't as pure white. This is more of a thicker paper and this is more of a thin paper. It's a little bit more transparent. You can see through it, can't see through this one. This is the one I want you to use to paint on. Um, I think it also works better if you turn your paper. Now you're gonna decide what looks better for your pot. If your pot looks good on your paper going horizontally, keep your paper going this way. If your pot looks better on a paper going vertically, then turn your paper this way. It's not a requirement to be one way or another. It's just what will look best. So if you're not sure, you can ask me, I'll give you my opinion. But I'm gonna go ahead and stick with the horizontal. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna go ahead and open our paints. We're using the watercolor paints. And you've got, I've got uh, paper towels underneath in case I have an accident. And it's also good to dab my brushes off on. I had a few extra brushes. If you have extra brushes, you can get them out but this green brush that comes with your paints also works really well too. So, got those brushes, I got my water cup, I'm ready to start. Let's go ahead and start with just the ground. And I'm gonna use the brush that comes with the set first. And we're gonna go ahead and I like to swirl the paint around, load up my paint brush with that color brown. So I'm just loading it up. Now when I get it where I want, I'm actually gonna turn my paper. I'm gonna just draw a line about right here, just down. That's gonna be the table that the pot will sit on. Okay, so now all you have to do is fill in that area. So that's why I have this thicker brush over here. If you have a thicker brush, that helps speed up the process just a little bit. But this little brush does a really good job too. You just have to roll your brush and load it up in the paint. Let's go ahead and fill that in. Okay, you can see that that um, paper towel also picks up any Thing that goes off of the paper. Okay, so now we're gonna do the space above. So it's like you're sitting in this pot on a table and the sun is setting in the background. You get these nice warm colors. So I like to start with the yellow first. So once again, I'm gonna load that brush up and I'm gonna go ahead and start filling it in. And I'm leaving a little space between the brown and the yellow 
because if I do touch them, they will start to mix and I don't want that. So I'm gonna leave just a little bit of a space. And I'm gonna make this pretty thick line. Okay. And I'm gonna go up a little bit higher because I'm gonna overlap my colors. You'll notice that my paintbrush is shedding a little bit and when it dries those little parts will come right up those little hairs so i'm not even worried about that so you can keep going and you'll notice i wash my brush out every time i change my color because i don't want to get my colors all mixed up in my tray it's really a pain for later if we need a color again so now i'm going to change i washed my brush out I'm gonna hold, go ahead and load my brush with the orange. Okay, I'm gonna just mix it in together a little bit. So I'm gonna go over my yellow and just kind of blend it. So one thing you'll notice that when you work with a paintbrush, I'm not jamming it down I'm just using the tip of the brush. I'm going back and forth. Okay, when you start seeing kids going like this, that's bad for the brush. So I'm trying to pretend my brush is dancing on the paper and I'm just using the tip of the brush and that will help keep the brush nicer longer because when we go like this and we drag it and we smear it like this, it damages the bristles. let that dry. Now this takes a bit of time to dry so you might need to leave this, go and do your next homework assignment. Um, you can come tell me Miss Van I finished painting my background, hold it up the best you can. Then later in the day I want you to come back and glue on your pot when this is completely dry and then submit it in Canvas because this is the final day. This is a big assignment, so I really need to see that you've completed it. So please don't forget that final step of gluing this on and showing it to me. I will come back to this when my, mine is dry and I'll show you and give you some ideas on how to glue that because it is there are some things I wanted to talk to you about. All right, so we've waited probably a good half hour. This background is dry. We are ready to glue the pot on top. So I'm gonna get pull your glue stick out of your bag. You're gonna go ahead and just go around the edge. Now the problem that I've noticed, and you guys will notice it too, is this watercolor paint on this paper, for some reason makes it kind of a waxy, too smooth, that your glue does not wanna stick to it. So I put a layer, and you're gonna have to use a lot and putting it all around and then you're gonna try to rub it into place and you'll notice it's gonna kind of resist sticking. So to combat that you'll go back over you'll know, put some glue on top of the paint and just rub it into place. Okay I don't know why this paint and this paper want, don't want to accept the glue but that's the way it is. So just add more glue on directly onto the paint. It will even come off a little bit onto the glue stick. And just make sure it's stuck on there the best that you can get it. So it takes a little bit of hassling, but now it's starting to stick, okay? All right, once it's stuck and it's glued on, you are good to send that to me in Canvas a photo or a video, I would love to see it. Um, send it to me now.